Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Welcome back to another episode of the SEO.co podcast. Today, we're kicking off another series, PPC Marketing Management for Law Firms, a comprehensive guide. Let's go over the basics. PPC marketing involves placing ads on relevant sites and search results pages via an online ad platform. Every time a potential lead clicks on your ad, you pay the host of the ad platform. You'll typically launch an ad or campaign by bidding on keywords related to your firm. For example, you might bid on a keyword or phrase like car accident law firm Brooklyn, New York. Google and search engines in general tend to be among the most popular choices of ad platforms for a simple reason. They allow you to reach leads whose searches align with your products or services. With a solid PPC marketing plan, you can be confident that the people seeing your ads are likely to be interested in the services your law firm offers. It's critical that you avoid certain common mistakes when leveraging PPC marketing to help your firm attract more clients. Too often, lawyers treat PPC marketing as being separate from their online channels, or they may rely solely on PPC marketing, not realizing it's only one component of a strategy. Any law firm can benefit from PPC marketing to some degree. However, this method is very useful when your firm is relatively new and in the early stages of growth. A strong PPC marketing strategy will help your firm quickly attract new leads and spread brand awareness when you're just starting out. In the long run, your SEO strategy will help you maintain the momentum PPC marketing initially generated. Studying your PPC marketing results will also help you plan an SEO strategy that delivers results, because PPC marketing involves bidding on keywords and placing ads that will theoretically feature various types of copy. You should always A-B test ads to learn what types of copy, images, etc. leads respond to. You can study the performance of individual ads and overall campaigns to determine which keywords and copy attract the most attention from leads. PPC marketing essentially complements SEO marketing in this way. You can take what you learn from PPC campaigns and apply those lessons to your SEO strategy. Specifically, when you know which keywords and copy make the strongest impression on your target audience, you can incorporate them into your titles, meta descriptions, calls to action, and website content, optimizing your SEO based on a genuine understanding of what does and what does not work. Next, let's talk about PPC and bad PR and what you need to know. PPC marketing can also be useful if your law firm has any PR problems. No one needs to tell you attorneys can face bad PR for plenty of reasons. Not all of them are good reasons. Regardless, negative articles and mentions of your firm can make attracting leads a lot more difficult than you'd like it to be if those articles and mentions show up high in relevant search engine results pages, or SERPs. This highlights another major benefit of PPC marketing. PPC ads will appear in the paid results for relevant keyword searches on SERPs. If you've used what you've learned from studying your PPC campaigns to guide your SEO, your site pages are also more likely to show up in organic search results. Together, they'll push the negative press toward the bottom of the page, ensuring leads are less likely to see them. This combination may even push less than flattering articles off the first SERPs entirely. Ideally, that's your goal. Research shows that the first page of search results typically accounts for 71 to 92% of clicks. The second page, only 6%. Push that bad PR to the second results page and its impact on your business will be minimal. So let's talk about getting started with PPC for a law firm. The best way to start experimenting with PPC marketing to drive your firm's growth is by launching a paid search campaign with Google AdWords. An effective paid search campaign will place your ads on Google SERPs when leads conduct searches using the keywords you've bid on. Again, these keywords should be related to your services and target audience. If you're trying to attract more clients who have been injured in pedestrian accidents in Miami, you might bid on such phrases as Miami Pedestrian Accident Lawyer, Miami Pedestrian Injury Law Firm, etc. Pro tip, be ready to adjust your strategy as you learn which keywords yield the most clicks. Test different approaches and monitor their performance vigilantly to ensure you're focusing on the most valuable keywords as you adjust and enhance your strategy. Launching your campaign involves a few steps. When launching a campaign via Google, choose the Search Network Only option and enable all features. Google will prompt you to make these choices when you first start designing the campaign. You'll have the option to turn on location targeting. This is to ensure your ads will generally only reach users in a particular geographical area. Unless your law firm has many offices across various regions and cities, it's highly likely you'll benefit from using this feature. 
you can use the Let Me Choose tool to target users by a specific city or radius. Select people in my targeted location with the Location Options feature as well. Bidding is the next component of planning a paid search campaign. AdWords will provide an automated bid strategy based on your budget. As you run your campaign, AdWords will automatically adjust your bid to maximize conversions while staying within your budget. You should probably stick with AdWords' automated strategy until you have more experience launching paid search campaigns. Odds are, you're listening to this because PPC marketing for law firms is a relatively new concept to you. When you've spent more time measuring the results of your campaigns, you may be more confident in your ability to design your own bidding strategy. Right now, you're still experimenting. Google AdWords also gives you the option to include extensions in your ads and campaigns. Extensions serve to boost click-through rates and conversions by including additional information in your ads. The following are extensions you should consider using. Location. Callouts, which allow you to explain why your firm is a better choice than your competitors. Site links, which link to other relevant pages on your site, such as a contact page. Call, allowing leads to contact you directly via phone and structured snippets, which you can use to list all your legal services. This is a useful extension if you offer a variety of services and don't have the budget to launch ads for every single one. Although, as the next section points out, if you do have the budget, you should consider creating more ads than you might have first planned to. And that's all we've got in this episode. Join us next time as we wrap up this strategy as we continue PPC marketing for law firms. Thanks again for listening to the SEO.co podcast. We'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.